This is Chris in Marietta, Georgia, at the Marietta Confederate Soldier Cemetery. In stark contrast to the National Military Cemetery, where Union veterans from the Civil War initially, but then from all conflicts and service periods, are buried. Virtually none of these graves are marked. They're just solemn markers that are taking place here. Virtually no markings whatsoever. Initially donated during the Civil War to house the graves of soldiers who died in a train wreck in 1863. It was later expanded. And those from Battle of Chickamauga and others, Chickamauga and others were placed here later. You can see the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia over there. That's the old Georgia standard. Blowing in the wind. 1861-1865 unnumbered heroes. One black veteran buried here as well. He was a slave and servant of a soldier who joined the Confederate forces. His young boy traveled with him, became a drummer, and was later buried here after he passed away in the 20th century. Very different feel than the National Military Cemetery. As I said, most of these markers are unmarked. South Carolina marker. Six pound howitzer. The only groupings and identification for most of these folks seem to be markers to identify states. Obviously, not kept up the way the federal government keeps up national military cemeteries. Understandable. This is very difficult to read. Looks like the last name is Palmer. Died 23 years age in September 1863. I wonder if this is one of the people on the train. Louisiana, 78 buried here, Confederate dead from Louisiana. These actually have names. Those are Confederate veterans who survived conflict and died later. These all seem to have died in 1922. B.D. Cravey, Company E, 3rd Florida, 1835-1922. T.A. Mason, Company D, 8th Georgia, 1846-1922. J.R. Russell, Company H, 40th Georgia, 1837-1922. Top of that stone is missing. That person served in the cavalry. This is 1923 over there. Here we have more traditional markers like you find in the National Military Cemetery there. T.C. Fletcher, Company I, 7th Georgia Infantry, Confederate States of America. Leroy Snell Grove, Company E, 11th Battalion, Georgia Military, Confederate States of America. And you can see those look like they've been replanted because they fell over. Captain Coleman over here, this one has a marker on it. Fourth. Louisiana. I assume that says battalion. Hard to read what it says when he passed away. I wonder if they've kept records. As I said, most of these markers are simple stone markers. And then you see the individual Confederate states and monuments to identify their war dead as well.
This one's for 269 Alabamans who were buried here. There he is, Billy Orp, the drummer. 